I've been really looking forward to coming over to Wales and experiencing my first pheasant shoot. It will be great to have the gun out in the field and to see if all of my practice on the clays brings the same result on live birds. <laughs> It's not going to be an easy day for Jen today. Um, we've got rain, we've got wind, we've got everything coming at us today. So I'm not expecting to see too many straight birds. Um, it's going to be hard for me as well, actually, because you know, I'm hopefully going to help her to try and try and hit a one or two. But it's going to be tricky. It is going to be tricky, but um, I mean, she's up for it. I know she's up for it. So it should be, yeah, it should be a really, really good day. Right, so you're going to get your first pheasant today. Yay! In Wales! Because <laughs> <laughs> we're at the end, I think some birds will come. See what those crows are over there now. I think we'll get some birds coming across like this. Right, okay. So when they come, just imagine it's the clay pigeons you've been practicing on. Look at the head of the bird just come up through it. Been to this part of Wales before, Jen, or not? No, I haven't. I'm getting a warm welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is normal, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Try and get them sort of here if we can. Okay. It's a nice spot here for you. So, see just right, pick. And no, not high enough. That one. Bloody close. Go for another that one away. Just off the beach. Okay. There's your first feather, madam. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Right, we're gonna get that bird. <laughs> get that bird! Just underneath it, go on. <laughs> just like that. I just have to calm Good, down. So you were nice if and I calm slow down and underneath. take my time. You did that beautifully. <laughs> and that was a hard bird jet because it was dropping. So picture. Not bad for my first attempt. I'm happy with that. <laughs> That's a bubbly yeah, note, yeah, just calm the nose. I was very, very impressed with that. Um, Jen did brilliantly. There was a strong right to left crosswind. Nothing was straight. Everything came out, hit the wind, and either went like a rocket or came over kind of doing that. It's just really difficult shooting. And Jen just killed five birds clean as whistles. She's got obviously very good hand-to-eye co coordination as well. Obviously, she's been to see the master, Mr. Ward, as we can tell. Um, but yeah, I think she, I'm, she made a really good account of herself. Yeah, really, really good. That felt amazing when you actually see the shot happen and the bird come down and everything feels right. And it's really, yeah, really good. So Meismauer is one of the better hall shoots up here in mid wales we're very very close to the town of welshpool uh, it's a family owned estate and betters run the shooting here and have done now for a long time and it's a really really lovely intimate shoot with some very good high birds and you've got predominantly drives in valleys coming out of woods that were planted you know generations ago specifically for shooting this this area looks why it does purely and simply from shooting you know all these farms and estates and everything well, all over Britain really isn't it? They, they, it's all, all planted years ago for the shooting world um, but this is a particularly beautiful one um, I love the house the lake you know the, the, the cinema if you like if you're coming in here and birds coming over the tops of the trees it's, it's lovely 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 <laughs> well, like you said it's the end of January these birds know one when, when they start coming out of these plots they normally just go whoosh right right madam action stations Watch here, Jen, because this is where yours are going to come from. There you go, shoot whichever one you want. A bit more. Pick one here somewhere. 
They're all going that way, Jen. Just go slightly up the side of them. Beautiful. Do same again, just up the side. Unlucky, that bugger moved in the wind as you shot. It slow down a little bit because they're very slow coming into the wind. Do the same on this one. It's a very similar shot. Just slow through it. All that was, Jen, your lead was spot on, your gun speed was spot on, but he was doing that and you just came this side a little bit. Mm -hmm. You have a go at this one if you want. Just through the head. Lovely. See, took your time, slow gun. Yeah, I just need Perfect. to slow down. Yeah. That's it. That's Fast it. and furious. I think I get overexcited, don't I? And I just. Do it, well, just we seen it with the partridges. It's the same thing. You come through too quick, and then you slow down on M2. Boom. Well done. Really well done. Again, tricky birds. I've learnt that for me personally, I tend to get a little bit excited <laughs> when I start looking at the birds, and um, I need to just be mindful to slow down, to slow myself down. And when I do so, that's when I have a good result. So that's what I'm going to really take away today. If a bird's still flapping, mm -hmm. it's, it, it will be going straight. Okay. But when the wings are set, they slide. Ah, okay. It's a yes. Big, big difference. And a bird yeah. that's wing set, even though it doesn't look it, is always, always, always going faster than a bird that's flapping. So yeah. They tend to get up. They flap for however many. It's not many seconds. They use all. They, they get up, get up, get up, get up, flap. Start flying. Hit the hit the crescent, and then slide to wherever they're going to go. And they're always faster when they start to glide. Right. Off this one, come off the head. You hit that! It was a 50 yard pheasant, you just hit it. You're not supposed to do that on your first attempt. <laughs> I like the high ones. <laughs> so, with the wind going from our left to our right, any birds that are getting up straight in front of us are going to our right, so they're not really going to come for Jen. So, the birds that are going to come here are going to come sort of here. By saying that, those two did come straight, but the majority is here sort of doing that. So most of Jen's birds, I think, are going to come sort of on that angle and be coming slightly downwind. From the shot, you're just coming up the right-hand side a little bit, but she's worked that out straight away with the two she's got on. She's just come up through it slightly on this one side. So didn't even have to tell her that, she worked it out. She said natural born killer. But by looking, when you look at the head of a bird, when your gun fits, she's had all custom, custom made. When Jane's lifting the gun, she hasn't got to think about the gun or anything like that. She just looks at the bird because the gun, we know the gun fits. And she, so by staring at the head of the bird, you're automatically getting the line of the bird. So she'll just come up on it and through it. And she'll come at the right angle just by staring at the head. It does it, it, it you know, she's got very good hand to eye coordination. Just, all that is automatically done for you. Just It's a process just by staring at the head that you will automatically come on the right angle. Here they come. Come on, come to me. This hen, this hen. Oof. <laughs> Give it that much. Well done, really well done. You, you know, even all the good shots, they're like one in five and one in six on that sort of stuff because there's such a slide on them. Yeah. But if you'd add 20 shots, we'd have soon got you on them. Mm. Well done. Well done. Mm, thank you. Quintessential January day. Not an awful lot was flying straight at Jen today. And as I said this morning, it was going to be a difficult day, but she really rose to it. I mean, the girl has shot really well. I'm very, very impressed. But as I said earlier as well, you know, Jen's been and got the gun fitted. She's got, in my opinion, the best gun you can have. It's fitted. 
she's been to see Simon Ward. She's, you know, she's ticked all the boxes. So now this is the real deal. She's out in the shooting arena, you know, and with a very, very experienced team of guns today, you know, so that must be intimidating, you know, or must have been, but she shot beautifully. She's evolved as the day's gone on. She was a little bit nervous. I just said, don't worry about, it. you know, you're not going to hit them all. Nobody hits them all. I said, look down the line, you know, and nobody kills them all. So it was just gun speed initially. She, she, she's, we, we can work out the gaps as the birds are coming. One's a bit higher, one's a bit lower. So I'm just kind of saying a bit more, a bit less, whatever. But it's a gun speed and I think just a little bit of excitement really. Oh, there's one and you just go a little bit quickly through it. And as soon as she slowed down, she started, you know, connecting and consistently connecting. She shot some wonderful birds today. What makes my Mauer and a lot of the other shoots in Mid Wales so good is, is the terrain. You've got these naturally deep valleys with the woods on them and, and the birds literally, you know, they flush them off the top of the woods and from cover plots behind the woods and they launch up and they come over and you're down in the valley underneath. So they're automatically high as soon as they, as soon as they come over. So, you know, some dive a little bit, some go straight across. If they go straight across, they're all really high. So it's, this part of the world is synonymous with high bird shooting. They're all flying along the trees, aren't they? Come underneath a little bit. Just a little bit. Beautiful. Cracking shot. I made Just sure I was under. under. <laughs> Give this that much, that much. Oh, you hit it with the first barrel. Slowly, big gap. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I, you, that was too much of a gap. That was me getting too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody thing dived. This one, slowly. Lovely. Oh, really? Go. You get one of these. Give the first one. Give it a lot. Give it a lot. More. Oh. Oh. That, that was the right lead, but it was going to the left. Right. Get off the head and pull. Oh. Well done, madam. I've seen people been shooting 10 years, I haven't shot a couple of those like you shot there. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> really well done, honestly. Thank you. you. Shot a couple of goggles. That cock was a beauty, wasn't it? That was, well done. <laughs> Wales is absolutely beautiful. Um, the countryside is really interesting. On this estate, um, there's a bit of everything. We're amongst the trees, then out in the fields, and it's been a really, really nice experience. We've had all weathers as well uh, today, so I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I think that practicing the drills and my mount at home has meant that once I stood on the peg, uh, I knew what I had to do and I felt prepared and um, I have a certain level of confidence with that so, and with the gun fit so that I know that as long as I do what I know to do then um, all I need to focus on is the bird and I think that's really really important because as soon as your mind strays elsewhere you'll lose that focus and, that, and that's when you potentially could miss Gerwin gave me some really nice instruction, teaching me to, when you stand on peg, to look at the conditions, look at the clouds and uh, watch what the wind is doing and start to think about what the birds will potentially be doing. Um, so you have that in your mind. Um, when the birds come, you can really pick one, focus on it and um, just to really focus on the, the head of the bird and allow yourself, uh, your, your instincts to kind of take over um, and hopefully <laughs> make the shot successful.
I've had a lovely day. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a privilege to watch somebody shoot their first pheasant and she loves it. She's a proper sportswoman through and through. She's like the rest of it. She really, really gets it. And I'm just delighted to have been part of this today. I feel very, very lucky.